Okay. Good evening. This is basically for a grid diamond that is a semi tutorial. I'm not, I've not, I've never actually done tutorials before, so this is basically going to be a, a, a showing of the, well, basically what I've done and how I got there with it. So I'll get this uh, set up here and I'll try and show some of the things I basically changed up and made to get the system working. Okay, as you can see, we're in your basic uh, combat screen here. And my own, the original character is gone. In the world settings here, uh, I've got the uh, ALS Animan blueprint character. And the combat player controller is set. I still, I still plan to actually combine that one and the ALS one as parent and child and such and all, but I haven't got around to that yet. But the uh, core system is... Most of it will, fo will have followed the... Uh, the video of Hugo Philippe. I'll post the uh, a link to that video in the script in the description. But basically, then once you're in there, your update graph should look like this. Make sure you, make sure you copy this part and just connect this little part down here in your atom graph. As you can see, whereas originally it was basically a case of you, know, you just you had your ALS system up here and then you'd copy and paste all of this in. And what I was originally doing was, you know, copying caches all over the place and myself and Joe were still working out a lot of this a lot of this stuff to get uh, all combi all combined and working properly, but the the system I've come up with at the minute now whereas one where when the weapon is Basically, out of, out of your hand, when it's sheathed at your side, you're doing the ALS movements. When you draw your weapon, then you're into like a sort of like a combat mo combat mode, where your character will then do all the movements as you see here. You can get your uh, your punish mode, your focus your focus states and such. Blocking all works. The legs the legs move with the blocking. Got the bow system here. When you aim the bow, your character not only turns, but it turns the legs and the feet as well. And the crosshair is actually the character actually follows where the crosshair is. And as you can see as well, as I turn, there is no like weird leg warping and such like that has been an issue for a lot of us lately. Dual, wheel, dual wielding as well, but as you can see, blocking works for that. Punish mode, getting your different combinations. Uh, didn't notice that before it stays in that. It stayed in the dual wheel mode for that double sword one, if that's all the time, or is it just. No, didn't that time, just we glitch there. <laughs> Well, I'll work. I'll work on that. Probably was your changing as you're picking up from time to time, but that could be changed with inventories. But anyway, we're getting sidetracked. <laughs> so as you can see, basically the two two to three main things I changed was originally when you're up here in the Hugo's video, it'll tell you, you know you make the full body, then the ALS cache, then he starts planting it basically everywhere to get it to combine. Whereas I didn't do I didn't do that. I uh, kept a lot of it, kept a lot of the original stuff, very, very much the same, except up here, I changed the I, the idle pose to the uh, ALS idle pose, and I put the ALS cache for in here when he's for unarmed combat, and I, cha I changed the, uh, the ground locomotion then to the ALS locomotion. The unarmed combat, once again, just like in Hugo's video, just copied that up to the default pose, which because it's now L now based on the ALS anyway. And down here, we have locomotion with states here, locomotion with jump. And the other change then was basically 
down in here. This this helps stop the uh, some of the some of the uh, leg shaking movements when your weapon isn't drawn when you're in the ALS movements and such. So you can see you basically just have your wee variable here if, is combat enabled, and if it is, you'll use your your combat animations, and when you're not, then you'll use the ALS mode. So this is, and again, it's just combat connected then to the IK everything nodes, and then just followed on from the end. So you can see it's basically a combination of the both, where you have like a like an attack animation, and as you can see up here, the IK system is all still. It's all still connected, and I think someone was one of the fellows in the group is having an issue with the uh, with the mantling. But as you can see, is come to here, jump up. And there you go. So you can see it's working when the weapon isn't drawn, but when the weapon's drawn, you just do a regular jump up. So it's kind of like you know, no no climbing with a weapon equipped, but you can wet without. So that's another wee handy thing. Handy or it, it's against, like it just depends on your own kind of system, but it gives an idea of what to work with. So and I think that was all the main tunes. I've been doing a couple of retests now of the ALS cache in just various places. Another really handy function of this that some people might like as well is the uh, the crouching. If when your weapon isn't equipped, you're into the ALS crouch. Equip your weapon. Go into the Crouch mode again, and it's the more like sneaky stealth thing for for like the kill animations and things. We all know how to fix that. Like I just I've been doing so many changes, I haven't got around to refixing that. But I think uh, the developer Jackie himself is going to be fixing that himself soon as well. So I think that's all the main things: blocking, punish modes, focus modes. As far as, I can, as far as I can see, everything's everything's working. The only, the only thing I haven't worked, fixed yet is the uh, swing weapon. Obviously, you're gliding along, but I think that's just done in the uh, the animation blueprints. At least it used to be, and for the older system, was just you know, stop movement. I don't know if it's still the same, but that's enough rambling for me. So I basically just made this now, so a lot of people can actually see what was done and the changes that were made. Also, was also like in the uh, Hugo's second video then as well was the uh, was the, the, the main difference then was the the tags all you basically have to do then is click up on the like, the actual base of the blueprint here and you go down just add these two tags there player character and then player space character and then you just click on the uh, Collision capsule, and then just put in their pawn space capsule. And that will help them with the. Uh, that'll make sure the enemies actually actually recognize you as the enemy, and you see like the wee UIs popping up whenever you're picking up weapons and such. So so far, that's all the the main stuff I've been working and testing testing on now with this with this variation. So I'll leave it, leave it at that there and let some of the ones now who are working on this to also test this out themselves and see what they like. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you. Good evening.